Ben Charlemagne. Who got the donkey of the day today? Well, Jeff Hilarious, donkey of the day for Friday, February 15th. It's a double donkey. It goes to a young woman from the great state of Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, salute to Amber Shelby. Drop on the clues bombs for Amber Shelby, rep. Red. Okay. And it goes to the Fairfield Inn in Staten Island. Let me tell you something. This is why having people on the ground wherever you go is vital. I don't care if you're in the country or you're out the country. Those reviews and pictures you see online don't always be the truth. Okay, for example, I tell people all the time when they come to New York and they ask me what they should do, I always say, go to the pink house in Brownsville. They hear the word pink. <laughs> That's not nice. And then they, they hear the word pink and say, that sounds delightful. Okay? <laughs> Somebody always tells them, you know, don't listen to me like Envy just did when I say that. But I still say it anyway, okay? I've been in Miami and had foreigners ask me where to eat. Now, before I say finger lick and salute to my good brother E-Class, mm-hmm. uh, I say go to Liberty Square, try the pork and beans. All right, people usually tell me they don't eat pork, neither do I, so I then tell them go to finger licking. My point is, I don't know what I'm talking about for real, okay? I just be playing in Fairfield Inn in Staten Island. Y'all playing. What? Okay, see, Amber, her husband, and her two young kids booked a hotel room that had a gorgeous view of the city's iconic skyline. Mm. Well, at least it, it did on the website. Right. This is the epitome of if what you paid for versus what you got was a three-star hotel room. $140 Amber paid. And I can see how this happened to you, Amber, because I looked at the pictures on the website, and we're going to put them up uh, when this goes up on YouTube. I can see how you got got, all right? Mm. But not really. The skyline they thought they had, the New York City skyline, Mm -hmm. it was actually a picture of the New York skyline printed on the window shade. So when they took the pictures of the hotel, when they took the pictures of the hotel room, they just closed the shades. It, they closed the shades, so it looks like the New York City skyline. Damn. When she actually opened the shades, their view was a hotel parking lot with a glimpse of a park across the road with a couple of kids in Wu Tang Clan T-shirts. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see the skyline in New York City from Staten Island in, in any hotel in Staten Island. Can you see the skyline in New York City from Staten Island? Maybe? If, I don't, you should I don't be able to. So. If it's a high enough hotel, I think so. Yeah, so, I, absolutely you can. Yeah, you can. Well, well somebody from Staten you Island can. let me know. I know you can get Shout on the ferry. Ryan, you can. No, 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 you can. You definitely can. You can? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I know you can get on the ferry, and the ferry takes you from Lower Manhattan to Staten Island, and that provides you some good views yeah. of, of the downtown <laughs> skyline. But even with me not knowing that, it wouldn't stop me from going online and saying, sure you can. They have fantastic views of the New York City skyline from Staten Island. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because I enjoy lying for fun. Okay, and so does everyone else. That's why the Fairfield Inn got the New York City skyline on shades in their hotel because they're not technically lying. Mm. They never said, hey, we got fantastic views of the New York City skyline. You just assume that because of the pictures. Now, Mm. Amber said she had no complaints about the hotel. Her only complaint was that it was too far from New York City. Amber, my country cousin. Mm. <laughs> okay. I could have told you that. Check the reviews, Amber. Mm. Check the ratings. Go on Twitter and use it like Google the way Meek Mill does sometimes. Just ask the question. Hey, all my New Yorkers, is Staten Island far from New York City? Hey, can you get a nice hotel in New York City for $100? You would have gotten a bunch of heroin addicts responding to you saying, hell yeah. Mm. And that would have been your answer, ma'am. Listen, Mm-mm-mm. I know we don't frequent Yelp like we should. But Yelp is the internet equivalent of let me speak to your manager. Okay, every Karen in America got platinum reviews on Yelp. They're going to tell you where you should be and shouldn't be. And my sister Amber, you know damn well when something sounds too good to be true, it is. Mm -hmm. All right, this is something we learned back in the days of slavery. Okay, well, we should have learned back in the days of slavery, but we didn't. When you know better, you do better. We know better now. We didn't know better back then. And that's how we ended up on those slave ships. They promised us a cruise around the world, Mm. okay, New whips, cars, new chains, jewelry, and they told us it wasn't going to cost us nothing but a little bit of work. How did that turn out? Now, Mm. let me be the first to tell you, the old adage, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, isn't always correct. In fact, the suspicion, cynicism, and doubt that are inherent in this belief can and does keep people from taking advantage of excellent opportunities. But this wasn't one of those times. Amber, you should be ashamed. Okay, Fairfield, take some pictures with the shades up, and please... Give Amber Shelby in the Fairfield Inn in Staten Island the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. And and don't hit me up either asking me uh, if I said what I said about slavery was true because I just told you I like to lie for fun. 
But I actually like what you said. Which part? The whips and the chains mm. and the how it's like the whips, the cars, the chains, the jewelry. Yo, you smart when you want, babe. But there was no cars back then, Justin. Yo, relax. It's, I'm making a correlation. Like I'm <laughs> trying to right, give right. you a okay, compliment. You're right, you're right. You know what? It was dumb. Thank Everything you, you said you. was yeah, dumb. Thank you, and, and even thank the donkey, because I don't even thank think you. the lady deserved the damn donkey thank for you. for seeing what was presented to her online. You know, that's that's what it was. She, she could have did a little more research. Yeah, how old is she? She looked at the she pictures. Young. She got two young kids. She's not um, young, young, but yeah, she, you know. Because you said my sweet country sister. I thought. <laughs> Ain't that what you said? <laughs> my country brethren, yes. Oh, country, okay. She country. All right. Yes. She probably don't know. You know, she, <laughs> she probably I just. Know. I know. I, I can see how she, she got the pictures. Got. That's all. I she deserved see. donkey for that? A little bit. Because you can't go all the way from Texas to New York without doing more due diligence and more research than just looking at pictures online. Okay. A hundred dollar okay. hotel. How many okay. stars was Would it? you stay in a hotel? Three. <laughs> Three is on the cusp. Like three, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. three, like sometimes you go, like three, like uh, three, do read three, the reviews, three. okay? <clears throat> three in Staten Island. Oh I, my but god! I, but I know Staten okay, Island. I <laughs> three three I, are in Staten Island. But for somebody out of town, yeah. you, you might not know. I don't even know Staten Island. I don't. I don't even know mm. like anything bad about. And I'm that sure Staten anything. Island has well three stars in Staten Island. Oh, three star Fairfield in. A fair fail. You said a oh, oh yeah, a but, fair <laughs> but if a promoter booked you and yeah. they told you you were staying at the Fairfield, just yeah. stop it. Yeah, now, a fair fail in in Houston. A fair fail in Baltimore <laughs> it ain't even. Yeah. But, but let okay. me ask you a question, right? When, when we were on the come up, yes, I've we, had some good st- times in Fairfield. We stayed at Fairfield. We on stayed at Red, Red Roof Inns. I agree with you. We stayed at. Oh, oh my god, you never stayed at Red Roof Inn. Yes, yeah, I, I seen it driving past. Well, I never stayed you, in there. Don't I try do to. stuff like that by myself, though. Not with my husband and two chairs. Well, when you were young, 21, 22. <laughs> not with my husband and two chairs. <laughs> <You're not> my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my argument. All right. <laughs> I'm sick of these I don't know right what here. you're doing with your husband. Yo, chill. Hey, but all right. Oh, BET will see you on Monday. <laughs> Peace, BET. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.